Chris, I think you got a question. Go ahead. Uh, first thing, how are you feeling? I feel, I feel uh, way better, man. It's just uh, cramps, part of the game. Uh, first game back, just getting back into the swing of things. So it's nothing, uh, nothing major. I feel good. That's good. The, the last two nights, you, you didn't play the last game, but you played tonight. But in two games against the Clippers and Warriors, you guys are giving up 184 points, on which is, I mean, phenomenal. What's been the difference that you've seen and then what you experienced today with the defensive effort? I mean, I think, you know, they did get some, uh, they got some open shots that they just didn't convert on. But I think for the most part, our effort was just there um, from, from start to finish. Um, and I think, like, you know, that's been the biggest thing with us is just being consistent and playing hard for long spurts. And uh, I think you're starting to see that come into fruition, like where we're starting the game, playing aggressively, and we finish the game the same way. So I've been super proud of the way we've been scrapping. So hopefully we can keep that going. What's it going to take to keep that going? Because you guys have been up and down in that area. And prior to the last two nights, it got really bad. But what can you guys do to keep maintaining that? Uh, just doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like, it's just the mindset, you know what I'm saying? And the mentality shift that if we want to be good as we say we do, we just got to bring it every night and uh, just play with that energy. It seems almost unheard of in today's NBA that have f three nights off. I mean, not unheard of, but they're not. it's not often that it happens. How big is that going to be for you guys? It's going to be big for us, man. We've been uh, battling injuries uh, these last couple of weeks, so I think it's going to be really good for us to get this time off. Uh, it's kind of rest, get our bodies back right. Um, and so that way, going into this Christmas break and going next year, we can uh, be full force. Chauncey's been pretty tough on you guys in public. I mean, when you guys don't play hard, he he lays it out there, and he's expressed his disappointment. How have you guys responded to that, you think, as a, as a group? And how, how do you respond to him personally when he does that to you guys as a group? I mean, this just is everything you guys say or hear is nothing that he doesn't say to us personally. So okay. it's not a matter of him saying something to the media and, you know, not coming at us with the same type of uh, tone. You know what I'm saying? He says it to us before he says it to you guys. So um, it's no surprise. And that was, that was the thing when he got here. Was, he's going to hold us accountable. He's going to tell us the truth, and he's going to tell us what it is. So um, he does the same to you guys. Thanks. Let's go to Casey Holdall, Trailblazers.com. No, I was kind of in that in that same vein. How would you kind of describe the the vibe in the locker room for you guys right now? Because obviously, you know, you've lost, I think, four straight, seven of eight. You're playing harder. Um, so I'm just curious kind of if you could give us a temperature of, of kind of where you got, you and the rest of the team is at, just in terms of kind of your, your chemistry and your cohesiveness. Yeah, I mean, obviously losing is frustrating, man. Um, it's tough, but I think we've done a good job of sticking together. And even though we've been losing these last couple of games, you know, you guys have mentioned that we playing harder, you know what I'm saying? And we're playing the right way. We're just coming up short in the end. And it's going to be little minor things that we have to tweak to pull these type of games out. But I think we, we've we been proud of how hard we've been playing, man. And, you know, considering the circumstances with Dame out, CJ, and I was out. Cody was out. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the stuff we've been going through, I think that we've been handling our adversity the best way in which we can. So I think that's something uh, that we should keep our heads up about. Sure. Thanks, Nas. Appreciate it. Let's go to Crystal. <clears throat> excuse me, Christo Saltis. Uh, hey, Nasir. Great game, first of all. Uh, to have that uh, that confidence from your teammates, from the coaching staff, what it means for you and about your game as well? Uh, I mean, you know, coming into this year, uh, you know, Chauncey and the entire staff told me that, you know, they were confident in my abilities and that they believed in me. And uh, I think, you know, as a young player, you know, you got to – confidence is probably one of the biggest things, you know what I'm saying? You know, everybody in the NBA is talented. We're all really good players, especially where we come from. And I think when you come to the best of the best in the entire world, you kind of – you get that reality check where you're trying to measure how good you are and – you know, you, you kind of struggle with that confidence. But, you know, with Chauncey you know, coming in and even with my teammates, uh, you know, believing in me and instilling that confidence in me, it just helps me elevate my game, man, because I think confidence is the most important thing as a player. So, you know, as you can see, I'm more confident in the shots I'm taking. You know, I'm more sure of what I'm doing on the court. So hopefully I just keep it going and uh, just keep building, keep growing. Okay. Wrap it up there. Thanks, Thank Nas. You.